Okay, let's uh, let's cover a scenario. I uh, will create a record producer. Okay, and whatever uh, the user gives input, right? So suppose uh, there's a variable, or let's say there is a question. Uh, please provide short description, and uh, there is second question uh, to provide the description. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to uh, create a record producer or a form asking user to fill these two questions yeah so user needs to fill this question and whatever user populates here so this should reflect in the new incident that is created okay so whatever uh, user input it needs to reflect into the incident record yeah we do not want uh, any hard coded values no hard coded values should be there yeah so let's go with this scenario first we'll create a record producer real quick so go to filter navigator type record producers uh, under service catalog catalog definitions there is this record producer go to new So we'll give the table as incident. Short description we can set. Yeah. Uh, I think it's still loading. Let's wait. So until then, uh, we need to use like two objects here. So the first one is current. Yeah. So this refers to the new record that is getting created. Yeah, and there is another object that is producer. So this refers to the user input data. Okay, so current and producer. So how we can utilize this uh, is uh, just so this is the record producer. Scroll down, down, down. And right here we have the script section, right? So here uh, we need to do the scripting part. But before that, we need to have the variables created right so uh, these are the two variables that we need to create so let me copy this Okay, so right here in the related list variables, go to new. So we'll give tooltip uh, about the request. Uh, example would be I need monitor. Yeah, so let's submit this. Uh, we forgot the order. Okay, we'll do it from the list. So what we'll do, we'll create uh, one more uh, variable with the name uh, 
of the description. Yeah. Okay. We'll give order uh, to the first question as thousand. Thousand and one. We'll create another variable. A tool tip we can give uh, please mention things in detail uh, example text would be step one i need hp monitor step two uh, its size should be this 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 step three uh, deliver to this address step four send by you know we can keep on adding these things in the example text so we'll make this as multi-line text uh, we'll give the order as uh, 2011 and we'll also make this as mandatory okay so remember uh, the question is labeled and the name that i have given is the backend name so uh, that is the one we need to use in the scripting part here yeah? okay so what we'll do uh, see let me first show you the name yeah the backend name of these uh, questions we have created yeah so this is the one name short underscore description and description yeah? so this is the name so what we'll do uh, we'll first create yeah, we'll first uh, okay so we'll do the uh, hard-coded values first okay just to test current dot see these values that I'm getting right this current dot short underscore description or uh, even I would do current dot description so you might think from where i'm uh, getting these fields yeah current is the object which is the, which is uh, you know referring to the newly re created record right current is the object refers to the new record but from where i'm getting these fields right so these fields i'm getting like i know because this field exists on the incident table so if this is a di different table say this is um, some change request table or some problem table i would fetch the relevant fields yeah i would mention those fields only here so uh, uh let's first uh, test with the hard coded values yeah current dot description also would be uh, say static description okay uh, let's save it then let's try it so whenever we do all these uh, configurations like we do the scripting we create the variables the scripts and all uh, so to test it internally as a developer we have this option uh, try it uh, this basically refers to the you know um, like test test it like even they can say test it so let's try it so see as per the uh, values that we have given the order we have given first this question is appearing because order is one double zero one and uh, the order is uh, i think uh, one zero double one so second question is appearing now see uh, if i hover my cursor over here so this is the tooltip please mention in brief about the request yeah so this is the tooltip that we had given please mention things in detail and this is the example test right i don't need to like uh, do a backspace or delete to remove it will automatically be removed yeah so uh, let's enter some values here and here as well uh, let's submit so a new incident is created from the record producer and see uh, the short description and description is not what actually user had uh, given as input right this is what we have 
set in the script part as the static values right so even if user mentions anything uh, while creating the request in short description and description it will not be set on that new ticket because we are not taking that into consideration we are just telling the system whatever user says whatever i mean user gives information in those two questions just ignore it and only set this this short description and description right so this is known as the hard coded part but what we need to do is uh, we need to this should reflect right user input should reflect in the incident record right not the hard coded value so we have uh, currently tested with the hard coded value so uh, let's uh, try to get the user input into the incident record so he this is where we need to uh, use the variable uh, sorry the producer object yeah so you can see producer dot short description here also producer dot description now you might be thinking from where i am uh, getting these values like producer okay uh, producer so this is an uh, object understood but from where i'm getting these values this short description and description right so this is so this is i'm getting uh just a minute let me go back so these are the names that we have given to the questions you remember so if you scroll down If you scroll down right here itself these are visible right so see this is the short description and this is the description right so that's where i have used it so i'm mapping new incidents short description should be equal to user input to the short description question and same for the below description so this is what i'm mapping so let me save it and then uh, let's test it okay so it gives some random values let me submit it okay see now this new incident is created with the exact same values that we had given that user gave as input right into those two questions see short description and description this is set so this is how we can uh, set the user input into the record using these two objects current and producer so this is it uh, this is how we can uh, you know say that i would uh, paste this code in the description if you uh, want to practice it you can practice for all other field like you can have the caller as her i mean a dynamic like you know we can have current dot caller underscore id is equal to uh, like gs dot get user id and all those things so color is automatically set uh, the channel could be set as like self-service and all yeah so these things we can these things you can do actually as an exercise yeah thank you